All right, guys. Well, I couldn't wait for a week to go get uh, get a box I ran out to Walmart. Got me one. You see right here in the corner here. Box number 116. All the boxes are numbered, so I should make this pretty easy. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. Let's get this bad boy opened up. All right, these are going for $17.87 on the shelf. So, yeah, $17.87. So, they say it's $25 worth of value in there. Generic Carl's box. All right, let's see what we got. All right, for starters, we got two stickers. Mystery Tackle Box logo. Little jacked fish. So go nice land somewhere. Alright, got some uh, harmony offset hooks. I really like sending these out. Again, catch go. I gotta dig on this. They don't tell you the size, they don't tell you nothing. It just says harmony hooks. And they're all like that, whether they be a little walleye bait fish hook or an offset bass bass hook. Please tell me what these are. Be nice. Either way, offset hooks. Guessing probably like a three. All right, two. I like this. So we've got a suspending jerk bait. Lucky craft. No, 100% familiar with Lucky craft, but we got what's to be a, a sexy shad color. Yep, sexy shad. Four to five feet. Slow suspending. That will be a good jerk bait lure. There you go, I'll have a better look at it. White belly, blue top, like a little yellow dot in that front hook. Which is kind of nice, it gives have a belly imitation. Good rattle. Hooks feel nice and sticky. There's something different. I think I've heard a little bit about these, but knuckle bait, Uziri, quarter ounce, sinking. It's kind of like a spinner, but instead of spinner blades, I've got this little knuckle. It's got some good sound to it, so it's kind of like a cross between a spitter and maybe a crankbait would be a way to put it. So with this knuckle bait. Get a little closer look at it. Huh. Pretty cool. I don't know what to say about that. I haven't even tried it yet, but I mean it looks like a good bait bait, nice stiff wire, good hook. All right, we got some excite baits, a little uh, green pumpkin, craw plastics, high floater. Okay, these would probably work good on a Ned then. Either way, Ned or, or football jig, something to stand up, make a good craw imitation. Those will work. And last and not least, we've got some uh, 10,000 fish. Shimmer Shad. These are the uh, Violet Shad. These are the big ones. Like these are the four inch, five inch, five inch. I used them just a little bit there at the year, end of the year. Caught a few uh, fish on them. Didn't have video of it. Wasn't filming that trip out. Um, but yeah, they're very, very minnow like. And these five inch ones are, like, yeah, five inch ones are gonna be nice. Realistic little eyes. Not too shabby. I would say for the money, you know, 17 bucks, 18 bucks, whatever, we're worth it here. I'm sure Shad's using these knuckle baits. I haven't even seen these in the stores, so that's cool. So jerk baits, I, jerk baits are like 10 bucks these days. Even on knockoff cheap brands, those are trailer, I think last I looked, were like seven bucks. 
I mean, uh, stuff's getting expensive, so I keep hearing that we're in a plastic shortage, so baits could get really expensive here soon, so it might be time to stock up, although anything plastic. Like, I even noticed, like, when I was in the uh, in Walmart today, go down the Lego section, or walk by the Lego section, I should say, and there's shelves are empty, and Christmas is over, and so I asked them, play, why are the shelves empty? And they said, well, haven't you heard the plastic shortage? We're, they're not making Legos right now. Oh, well, this could affect our lures. So, stock up on your plastic gear, you've been told. Well, it sounds like this box is over. I got daddy duties to attend to. So, there you have it. First week of uh, Mystery Tackle Box openings. That's what we get. Death out fish, shimmer shad. Great for drop shot. We'll definitely use offset hooks. Always use a few more of those. Stickers, got a little stickers. Really excited about this guy, this knuckle ball. Not seen it, not used it. I really want to try it. I like the sound of it. I mean, it probably doesn't have the flash like a spinner does, but it's going to give off a, probably a vibration and sound like like a like a like a crank bait would. So that's that's interesting. We'll, we'll see how that works. And jerk bait, which is good. I've needed to expand my jerk baits a little bit. Color is awesome. Love this color. And uh, of course the uh, the craws to excite baits. Um, this looks like that floating. Uh, Craw and a green pumpkin. All good baits. We'll use all of them. $25 value in that box for sure. If not better. I mean, yeah, definitely. I uh, I rate this box. Uh, I guess we should start a rating system. We'll just do the good old classic one out of ten, or one through ten, I should say. Um, I'm gonna give this box a nine. I really do like this box. The shimmer shads, the jerk bait, the knuckleball. This is a cool. This is a cool box. Nine for having good quality baits and definitely at least twenty-five dollars or better. Hey, thanks for watching. Please, uh, please subscribe and uh, check back next week for the uh, the next box.